in our lives, many times we have instances where there are things that we are not supposed to do that dangle right in front of us. So tempting, Allah says, I'll reward you when you don't do these things. So shaitan, when you seek forgiveness, has a job. His job is to make you lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Allah tells you, don't lose hope in my mercy. I've forgiven you. So what do you do? You move on. I was saying Adam alayhi salam, Allah told him not to eat from the tree. Anything else Allah told him not to do? Anyone knows anything else that Allah told Adam alayhi salam and Hawa not to do? Anyone? That was the main thing. And perhaps the only thing. Allah says, do whatever you want. Eat whatever you want. But don't go close to the street. What did he do? What did he do? He ate from the tree. The only thing Allah told him not to do, that's what he did. We are the children of the same man. You follow? Allah tells you not to do things, you may end up doing it. Why did Allah choose that Adam alayhi salam would do the only thing that he was told not to do? Because Allah wanted to teach us a lesson that as soon as he did it, he regretted it, he realized shaitan's trap, he sought forgiveness and Allah says, I forgave him, I forgave him. So Allah says, now all of you, the children, which means all of us here, we want you to know that this is how we operate. If you end up doing something that's displeasing to Allah, regret it, seek the forgiveness, turn back to Allah, understand the plot of the devil, we forgive you. That's it, gone, wiped out. Don't lose hope. And inshallah, we grow in this way.